With 2017 coming to a close, the number of Game of the Year contenders could be counted using two hands. Since January 2017, we gamers have been flooded with resentment. From the less than stellar 2016 year, day one patches to help finish games after their release, and games being scaled back from their previous year's E3 showings. So when the first AAA title was released, skepticism was still high. January 2017. Resident Evil 7, mainly a tech demo for the newly released PSVR, fans quickly realized that this has been one of the best installments in ages. February 2017. February saw its share of amazing titles. Yakuza 0, Neo, and Horizon Zero Dawn. March 2017. The month many gamers were most skeptical about. The release of Nintendo's latest console, the Nintendo Switch. Since the Wii U saw its share of success and failures, everyone thought the Nintendo Switch was dead on arrival. With the likes of the PS4 and Xbox One taking sole command of the video game generation, there was no way Nintendo could come back, was there? Zelda Breath of the Wild took March by storm, ensuring that with every Nintendo Switch sold, a Breath of the Wild was sold along with it. An install base of 1 to 1 saw Nintendo claw back to the top. April 2017. Persona 5 kicked off April with a bang, many calling Persona 5 Game of the Year already. Fast forward to August 2017. With so many great games already filling our year thus far, how can August be any better? Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice took the PlayStation Store by storm, with many demanding a physical release. Sonic Mania, another game solely released as a digital download from the PSN and Xbox Live stores, was a delightful surprise. Then, finally, a light at the end of the tunnel. A AAA title finally getting a physical release. Uncharted The Lost Legacy, away with Nathan Drake and replaced with Helena, and you still have a recipe for greatness. September 2017, Cuphead. Microsoft's killer app shown at E3 2014. Everyone was in awe by its art style then and were dying to give it a try. Fast forward to present day. Guess what? It didn't disappoint. Critics and gamers alike fell in love with the 1930s inspired cartoon feel. October 2017. October revved up with Forza Motorsport 7, some calling it the Gran Turismo killer. As October continued, a shadow loomed over it. A shadow of war. Monolith delivered what many of us wanted from Shadow of Mordor more and bigger. As days got shorter in the month of October, Mario Odyssey added to the lack of daylight being seen by many gamers, forcing many to stay indoors and catch some moons for themselves. October closes out with another great entry, some calling it the greatest first person shooter in recent memory, Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus. As the year draws closer to a completion, we can look back at 2017 with fulfillment and knowing 2017 can go down as a great year in gaming.